wonder if the chat's going to work fine today. What's going on, Shady? I want to first uh, apologize if you were on the live stream last night and uh, I know the last part of it I started rambling on because for some reason I couldn't see any chat messages on my screen. And I think it's because the phone that I was using was acting all kinds of weird. What's going on, Philip? I just got done with the water change. I just got done shooting an update. Uh, I'm definitely not the smartest guy in the world, but I get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions on the Red Sea Reefer tanks. And, uh, I guess somehow I became an unofficial spokesman, and it's cool, you know. I, if I can answer the question, I will. If I can, I'll direct them in the right place. But I thought it was time for me to do a, kind of a Red Sea Reefer 101 slash update on where the tank is. So, unfortunately, that that video that I just shot is not geared towards one group or another. I kind of threw everything into one, and it's kind of my style of doing videos right now. And, not really trying to uh, do a lot of editing or whatever, just one raw video and done. So I get a lot of questions on the gate valve, on the overflow system. Um, it's very interesting because people that have never set up a reef tank before go straight to the Red Sea Reefer with an overflow and they've never had a sump. And I think it's great, by all means. I think they're great tanks. I think they're, they're great beginner tanks once you learn how to tune the overflow. What's going on, King of Soul? Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Unfortunately, my wife is working. That's pretty rare, but she's working today. My kids are sleeping. Got a water change done. I got my air pump plugged into the apex. I got my skimmer cup cleaned. I got, what's going on, scurvy? I got, uh, I don't know, I feel like I've done like four hours of work to this thing, but hot. I haven't been outside once today. I'm sitting here underneath a fan. It's 74 in the house and I'm burning up. I'm hot natured to begin with. I really wish, wish that the two wrasses that I bought would come out. They're alive. They refuse to come out. They like to just hide out. What's going on, Beta? Welcome to a live stream. Thank you, King of Soul. I appreciate it. I've... I've been, uh, it's a combination of halfway knowing what you're doing and, and half of it luck. I got two fairy wrasses from uh, Live Aquaria. Live Aquaria, I think until the 5th, is doing free shipping over 99. And they typically do free shipping over 149. So they got me with that email. As soon as I saw that email, I said, I'm going to go buy something for 100 bucks. And it was like 99.98. So, appreciate it, Freddie. Thank you. You know, I really wish that there was a store close to me that sold coral, but at the same time, I'm kind of grateful that there's not. <laughs> Uh, I can't hardly see the comment because my tripod, but um, I put a bubble tip anemone in this tank, I don't know, a couple months ago, and it recently split. And to my knowledge, whenever one splits, it seems like, um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like it's thriving, it's happy. So they, t I guess, you know, once again, correct me if I'm wrong, but they, they tend to split whenever they're, they're pretty happy and 
it's kind of crazy because I paid uh, 70 or 80 bucks for that one bubble tip anemone and uh, that sucker split so you know if you could get it off the rock and sell it then you got that first one for free I'm not I'm gonna leave them in there could be from stress as well okay that makes sense I, I know that the uh, bubble tip anemone that I bought it moved around it stayed in the place that I put it for like a month and then for a week it moved around constantly so um, I guess when it finally found its happy place it may have stressed itself out to the point of splitting and or it liked that spot so much it decided to split double my money if it stays alive yeah thir if I, I can't handle a, a 13 inch bubble tip anemone in this, in this little bitty nano tank that's for sure I got my water change done, five gallons. It's tough doing a five gallon water change, let me tell you. Those folks that are doing 40, 50, 60, 70 gallon water changes, they got it easy. pH went up and bubble tip split. It's funny you mention that because uh, I tested uh, alkalinity and phosphorus phosphates this morning and my alkalinity is 8.5 8 and my phosphates are 0 0.07 and um, I was going to test nitrates but I don't have a nitrate test but um, while I was doing my testing I saw that I had some uh, pH calibration fluid so I'm going to recalibrate my apex ph probe at some point this weekend what's going on brand new cameraman 5280 I, I didn't test the water that i mixed up but i'm using red sea coral pro and I have tested it a few times and it is high in alkalinity. It was uh, a couple times I tested it, like 12.6, 12.7, 12.8. And I'm fine with that. I mean, me doing a five gallon water change out of 65 gallons, it's going to raise the alkalinity. I tested it this morning, it was 8.5. It might be 8.6 or 8.7 now, maybe. Open up the windows and it'll split. Yeah, I'm just hanging out as well. Staring at the reef tank. Watching everybody's videos and they got a lot of coral. I'm going to have to step up my coral game. That's for sure. Paul Blenny's here. He's been up since 4 o'clock this morning. Live streaming the drop-off tank. Hey, if anybody uh, in the chat don't know about Paul Blenny, then go check out his video where he drilled that uh, drilled that aquarium. Will Santiago, good afternoon. Yeah, the uh, I'm getting emails about the apex and it's not doing anything. The the algae is way too high. But, like I said, I'm doing five gallon water changes and I've tested it multiple times before and after. And it's all you, you took rid of, you took the video down. Um, I've tested my alkalinity before and after. It, it hasn't done a big swing, so. If, if I were to do, you know, maybe 10 gallon water changes, that might affect the alkalinity quite a bit more, but unless I'm something has gone terribly wrong in the uh, in the tank I don't have any plans to, to switch it up at the moment I bought a brand I got a brand new bucket out there and that bucket will last me quite some time you know four scoops of it a week so I've heard a lot of things about Fritz here lately Fritz is German correct judging by the 
the name of it, I would suspect that it's German. Need to try to, it's gonna get shaky for a second. Yeah, I don't blame you, Paul. Get tired of reading the same comments over and over and over. I just block them. I just start blocking them. You don't like it, move on. I'm pretty upset with the uh, photo bucket, man. That, that irritates the crap out of me. Matter of fact, in the video I just shot that I'll probably upload this week, I talked about photo bucket in it. <clears throat> Switch to the blue bucket. Yeah, it seems pretty typical. Um, do you have to add any elements to the blue bucket or are you happy with it straight out of the bucket? Yeah, my alkalinity stays um, about 8.4, 8.5. A couple weeks ago, I tested every other day and I don't have enough in the tank to really consume it so I'm not going to waste my uh, Hannah Checker solution until I get some more coral. What's going on Bay Area? Is the blue bucket cheaper? I know the Coral Pro bucket's like 70 bucks and I don't mind paying that. I like the salt. It mixes up great. Thank you, Will. I appreciate it. Almost a hundred. Did I miss a... Uh, maybe I missed something there. I gotta sit on the floor. Same price for the blue bucket. You're talking about a hundred dislikes? Cad lights tanks? I don't know anything about them. Um, I know that the, I like the way that they look. Uh, the, if you're talking about the Artisan, I think that's how you say it, the Artisan series. Um, I would really look at, had I known about it before I bought this tank, Planet Aquarium sells some kits, pretty much like the Cad Lights or the Red Sea Reefer. Um, but Planet Aquarium's tanks, I think you got to buy them through a dealer, but I may have looked at one of them. 50 for 180 gallons, oh, 180 gallon bucket. Um, I tried to test, <laughs> I attempted to test my calcium this morning with the Red Sea test kit. So I have the Red Sea alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium test kit. And uh, I basically, get this bucket so I can sit on it. So I tested my calcium and I got mad. I don't like those. I wish that Hannah had good calcium and magnesium checkers. I've, I've been pretty spoiled with the alkalinity checker. So I started to uh, test the calcium and I got sick and tired of doing the one drop and shaking it, one drop and shaking it. And then I just dumped it down the sink. I said, I don't even care what it is.
Now, mind you, um, I had like five different things going on at that time, so it is what it is. What tanks are we talking about? Cad lights, Planet Aquariums, SCA. The smaller SCA tanks don't have Euro bracing and you can actually get the bigger tanks without any Euro bracing. You're just gonna pay more because the, the glass thickness has to be increased. But I don't think any of the Cube SCA tanks have Euro bracing on them. I, I would say that uh, if you're interested in any of the SEA tanks right now, you might want to hold off because the uh, cabinet maker has been doing a horrible job. There's been people getting the SEA tanks. Uh, more specifically, I know I've read people getting the 150 gallon and the cabinets that they pay for, it's, it's junk. It's crap. So they're having to build their stands themselves or, or uh, try to find somebody to build it for them. Now Steve is working with them, so from, I, I've never dealt with SEA, but from my experience and seeing his communication back and forth and him working with all the folks, um, I wouldn't hesitate to spend a dollar with uh, SCA. I think he's bent over backwards. Yeah, get the channel going, man. Go. Go get a 10 gallon. Go get a fish bowl. Go get a vase. Fill it up with salt water. Put something in it. But I do really like them planted aquariums tanks. But the uh <laughs> I'm not getting another tank for a while. This is this is my tank and this is gonna be here for for a while. I have no plans to build another tank anytime soon. I'll let me move the camera. You talking about that piece right there? That is I don't know if you can see that piece right here. It's magnetic. It's a magnetic frag rack. It came from um I can't remember where it came from came off of a vendor on Reef to Reef. My skimmer cup is making some noise, which is very irritating. Yeah, I, I did a video on that magnetic piece about a long time ago. Well, folks, I just uh, hear the baby, so that means that I have to switch off of YouTube mode and go back to daddy mode. So I appreciate you spending 20 minutes with me. We can discuss tanks and vases and uh, fish bowls and Paul Blaney busting tanks. I love this reefer, Chris. Alternative reef, that's where it came from. Um, yeah, I appreciate everybody stopping by. I'm gonna go get her, feed her, hang out, see what kind of mischievous things I can get into. All right, folks, 
Vaison.